One, two, three. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. Yo. What'd you say, Dad? Hey, I'm turning. I'm the reason they're on here. I'm the reason you're on YouTube. Is that right? Yeah. And uh. Um, hi. Day two in New Orleans. Headed to the Essence Fest. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi. 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 It's my birthday. No, it's not. We just walked like five miles. Okay, probably wasn't that long, but we walked a long way to get to here. We finally made it in the building. <laughs> hi, Daddy. auditioning and taking three kids, you know, three babies with me when I was younger in my 20s and my 30s. It wasn't until I got on the south side of 40 that I got my first leading role where I, I was a, a leading lady in a series. And I have to say, it is a blessing. Watch me! I got a Let me first congratulate Essence magazine for 24 years of this Essence Music Festival. We have criminal justice stuff that we face. I was just talking to my little brother, Meek Mill, who's coming out in a little bit. We are looking at our young men and women that are locked up in jail because you have a criminal justice system that allows them to give life sentences for non-violent drug offenses. We got to turn that around. You cannot give people 30, 40 years for selling some reefer that now you make illegal in some state. If you can't stand up for Meek Mill and you can't stand up for your little cousin, you don't have faith just being on your knees. You have faith getting up off your knees and doing some work. It's time to stand up and put faith in action. It's time to stand up and fight for our children, fight for our equal rights, fight to preserve our civil rights. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray 
and then after pray and turn from your wicked way. Then, right then, right then, you will hear from heaven. I will heal the land. Trump, you got the Senate. Trump, you got the Congress. Trump, you got the White House. But your arms are too short to box with God. Is there any form of rehabilitation in the system as, as you've come to know it? And is there a chance for a young man or a young woman to really put it behind them? Uh, yeah, I think it's a form of re rehabilitation. I just don't think this is the way you do it. A lot of people say uh, the system uh, need to be fixed. I, I think we need to break the system and rearrange it and do it all over again because uh, where we come from, I believe Remy's saying it too, she actually she did eight years, I did six months this last time. And you know, this six months to me, it was like one of the worst experiences I went through in my life because I know what path I was on and I was being placed in prison where I don't belong. And you know, it was just wasting my talent, wasting my life and wasting everything and that, everything. So, you know, and this is a thing called freedom of speech. So they don't really have to have any evidence or anything to say some of the things that they say. And a lot of times you are judged before you even make it to a courtroom. And then we have this, this notion that, you know, um, anybody who's in jail or went to jail has to be guilty. Everybody that's in jail or went to jail isn't guilty. The same way everybody that's walking around in these streets ain't innocent. They told me if I'm in the car with my husband and he get pulled over, I have police contact. I'm just in the car. So they set up these rules that make it crazy. And it, it made me sit, when I was sitting in jail, I was looking at some of the things like, yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna be able to vote. Well, why are you taking away my right to vote? Cause, you can't, Cause I kinda had an idea what's going on there. I would wanna vote. I never even took voting seriously before I went to prison. When I came home, I went, like, I, I can't vote for certain things now because I signed papers and wrote to this person and got that letter back and wrote just for permission to vote again. What does me ever committing a crime have to do with voting for the people that's in charge of my life? I shouldn't be able to vote. I shouldn't have to pay taxes either. Let me try to not do that. You know? I realized that some of the people that I was with, it's, it's so crazy because the people I grew up with, I still say they're my friends because I've been calling my friends for so long, but my real friends are people that I actually was incarcerated with. And they force you while you're in there, because I, I was like, when I get here, I'm not talking to nobody, I'm just gonna stay in myself. They force you to interact with people. But then when you get out, it's a crime and a violation to talk to anybody that's been in jail or that's also on parole or anything like that. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up with an animosity for police authority. It, it, it many times, I had been in the industry for years. I've been doing it since I was 18 years old. And I would see police, no, I'm not committing a crime. No, I don't have any drugs on me, no weapon. And I'm nervous, why am I nervous? It's, 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 it's to the point now where I shouldn't have to walk around nervous when I'm not even doing anything. I just be annoyed sometimes with us as celebrities because sometimes we'll be on it and then something else will happen and we'll jump to that fad and we'll jump to something else. You have to, we, I say all the time, you have to stay vigilant in, in the process. We can't wait till another kid die and then everybody's marching and then they stop for a while, then another kid die and everybody got on the rest of these shirts. Like you gotta stay on it and change a lot so that our children don't have to grow up scared to walk around when they see somebody in a uniform. I just want to address the, the, the subject and as people in our culture, I think we really got to step up. Even young black men like us killing each other day for day, is, is, I think we really got to address that first within ourselves before we move on to the next thing because if we don't value ourselves, I don't believe no other race will ever value us. I think... What is it good? Okay, let me just ask you, in season five, Will we see Tariq get what's coming to him or will we see Tariq start to become the new ghost? No? No. You don't think so? Y'all don't think he's a more ruthless their version of his daddy? He definitely is. Yeah. He definitely is. He got a, I mean, it's his father, so he has a lot of his qualities, but you're gonna see a lot of different things in bold with that boy, man. Y'all gonna love it and hate it, trust me. Uh, I think it, it's actually a little reflective of some of the things in society now as well. Mm -hmm. So Tariq, you put it in perspective, a ghost, you know, struggled, put it through, put, you know, put the pieces together, whatever kind of hustle that was. And this boy is a little bit more detached 
and willing to do the violence without the strategy behind it necessarily. Yeah. And I don't think that's so dissimilar to things that we see in the news today. And very, very... It was my first year, but this is still a great experience. Um, Yala, we just came from Yala. Well, tell them who we saw today. I saw so many celebrities. I saw first celebrity that sit next to you. Say that one first. No, I saw Major. I saw Tiny, Yala. I saw Meek Mill and Remy Ma. Stop. Who else did you see? Not <laughs> you. Uh, Stop. Did you see? <laughs> not you. Stop, Eli. You're not she a celebrity. You saw the <laughs> Eli Kirkman. Huh? Did she make their song? No. <laughs> what song? Them, their song. Oh. Maybe them. Yeah. yeah, we're having so much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some food. Well, yeah. I heard food, so I'll see you in the next clip. It's my dad and brother. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> I didn't even know you were gonna turn that on. You miss her? I don't know. You didn't mean her. My sister. But you don't want to be in it? Okay. So, so yesterday, I gave you all like a sense of who I was. Today, I decided that I was going to go a little bit further. I wanted to let you know that we had an amazing family trip to New Orleans because I just wanted to be with my babies and I love them so much. There are three things that mean everything to me. If that, of course, it's my God. Second, it's the purpose, the righteous cause and liberation that we find when we collect our efforts. But between those two things, with God being first, it's my family. And these people right here, when I think about 
the thing that makes me rich. I don't care if I had every dollar in the world. I don't care if I had every piece of resource in the world. I, didn't, I don't care if I didn't have any of those things. The thing that makes me rich, you know, are these babies that are sitting right next to me and the ones that are standing in front of me. This has been one of the most rejuvenating experiences of my life. It's, it's rejuvenating in the sense that, you know, I got to be surrounded by people who genuinely love me and I genuinely love without hesitation. I had an opportunity to look and stare into their eyes and see the future. When I looked into their eyes, this is what I saw. I saw every dream that I've ever had within reach. Daring to come true. They smiled at me and I saw the new sun. I saw what the sunlight would look like on the other side of heaven. I saw everything that I had ever dreamed about. And so we're going to end this podcast by simply saying, or video cast by simply saying, it's all love. Because family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. Until next time. Peace out. Remember to follow me, tweet me, FaceTime. Whatever you need to do. What's your number? Five one seven seven seven. Look at my eyes. <laughs> Hit me up on IG. Okay. You, you know why you know how Instagram. to shout me out. You don't have any. You don't have any. But this is what she's about to say. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching our vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to our channel. And just remember to keep dreaming. If you don't have a dream to chase, you have no reason to move forward. Peace. You got my soul.